Hello and welcome to ZAPR and ZAP Academy. We are really excited to announce a new course on SAP CPI. With SAP focusing and promoting so much on cloud, SAP Cloud Platform Integration is one subject which is the need of the hour. Whether you are a middleware SAP PIPO consultant or whether you are a backend SAP MAP developer or whether you are a functional architect, this course will help you bust all the myths of the cloud platform integration and bring you closer to the infinite possibilities of solution which it offers in the integration platform. This 8 week classes with more than 40 hours of hands-on training will be enough for anyone to get started in SAP CPI and dive deeper into the actual SAP CPI work in real SAP projects. In this course, we will make all our participants do the hands-on during the class so that they get the first-hand flavor of SAP CPI and they do not get the opportunity to procrastinate during the exercise. Instead, they will learn hands-on in the class itself. In addition to the classwork hands-on, participants will have additional home assignments too. Welcome to this SAP CPI for beginners with hands-on and practical examples training overview. In the first week, our expert trainer will introduce the participants to the business technology platform. He will speak about cloud, cloud products, use cases, integration. He will help the participants understand the message processing fundamentals and finally introduce the students to the CPI world and CPI architecture. Our trainer will explain in details the architecture of cloud platform integration. We will move ahead with registration of the trial account. He will showcase the cockpit functionalities. He will talk about the different types of interfaces like sync, async, cloud to cloud, cloud to on-premise, etc. Web UI will be the main topic for the first class of week 2. We will learn navigation in Web UI. We will look into the design, discover and monitor functionalities. We will understand the packet concept in SAP CPI and then understand the app flow. iFlow is one of the pillars of SAP CPI and we need to have a crystal clear clarity on this topic. We will learn about the basic elements of iFlow and then we will learn about creating packets and iFlow. Once we have some idea of iFlow, we will cover the integration part. We will check the basic components like XML, XSD, JSON, and XPath. Next, we will cover the beginner palette functions and then create our real first iFlow. This will be a hands-on exercise which all participants have to do while in the class. Before we wrap up week 2 session, we will talk about Postman tool and how it can be used for our SAP CPI development and testing. It will be an interesting session. Next in our course will be palette functions. We will learn about participants, process, events, mapping, simulating working of palette functions, message transformers, call, message validator, persistence and again simulating the working of palette functions. Probably this week is going to be one of the most important classes and participants should not miss it. We will continue the palette functions in the next week classes too. We will cover content based message routing. Then we will explore camel message model. After all these concepts and shorthands on, we will do a real business use case scenario using palette function. We in fact will be doing full custom interface development, groovy scripting, which will have both basic and advanced scripting. Big 5, we will focus on adapters. We will talk about FTP, SFTP, SOAP, Mail, Process Direct and JMS. You might have heard about it and even worked on it. But our trainer will explain the subtle differences and to use what. Adapter is another concept which needs good clarity. Week 6 also will be dedicated to adapters. This week our trainer will cover OData, integration with open connectors, integration with Twitter, iDoc adapter and process direct. These are commonly used adapters and CPI consultants work day in day out with them. Our hands-on exercise will help the participants understand the nuances and benefits of each adapters. Error handling, monitoring and tracing is one important task of any middleware team or to be fair any integration team be it in cloud platform or on premise. Our expert trainer will teach how to monitor the messages in CPI, the different statuses of the messages and their meaning. We will next learn how to manage integration content, security artifacts and data stores. These are very important topics for all practical purposes. Further, our trainer will introduce the participants to Cloud Connector. We will understand and practice value mappings and usage in real integration projects. As they say, save the best for the last. In the last week, we will explore the best practices in SAP CPI. Trainer will reveal the do's and don'ts of SAP CPI in actual client system. We will dig further in the error handling part. We will learn how to test, trace and debug. 
the trainer will stress the importance of discover tag and its usage next he will show how to work with standard content and how to configure and deploy standard content he will also showcase how to edit and customize the standard content to meet the client's complex and unique requirements finally he will teach how the content transport between tenants happen and what is the right and what is the best way to perform it sap cpi is not the new kid in the town anymore but the word cloud confuses many and it is intimidating trust us development in cloud is more streamlined and easier than on premise there are not many opportunity to make mistakes if you already know cpi and want to get more clarity this is the course you should pick if you are a web developer and need to work day in day out with your middleware team do not hesitate to join this course if you are an architect or a senior consultant who need to give high level solutions and design this cloud platform integration training can help you make even better integration design and architecture for your company and client just enroll let us look it is an important date time and other information the first day of the training is on september 17 2022 at 7:30 am rst this time is gmt plus 5.5 hours so if you are in euro africa or west asia you might not be able to join the live class this time is better for participants from indian subcontinent east asia australia new zealand north and south america the payment of fee and enrollment process should be complete by 8th of september 2022 The link to enroll for this training and pay the course fee is in the description section of this video. There will be 16 classes in total and each class will be little over 2.5 hours which will include hands-on time for the participants too. For some reasons if you are not able to join the live classes some days do not worry. Recordings of the class will be uploaded at our training page and the participants will have lifetime access to those recordings. Participants will create account on the cloud and do all hands-on in the cloud platform. In addition to that, we will connect to backend S4 HANA 1809 system from the cloud platform. Server access will be provided till November 30, 2022, and it is included in the training fee. Participants do not need to pay extra for the server access. If you still have any queries questions, feel free to WhatsApp us at plus one two five one seven two seven nine two seven three or email us at mail zapier at the rate of gmail.com or mail at the rate of zapiad.com thank you very much stay safe and see you live on the training day